I'm also first time Muslim. Even I'm first time one. ہماری آج کی ویڈیو کا موضوع ہے کہ ڈاکٹر زاکر نائک سے کہ لڑکی کوئسٹن کرتی ہے کہ کیا ہم الکوہل تھوڑی سی مقدار میں استعمال کر سکتے ہیں اسلام میں صحیح ہے یا نہیں تو چلیے دیکھتے ہیں کہ ڈاکٹر زاکر نائک اس بات کا جواب کس طریقے سے دیکھتے ہیں تو چلیے سٹارٹ کرتے ہیں آج کی ویڈیو مائک ایک کوئسٹن سر وائی سیت دات دا لیکر ایس پروہیبیتیڈ And uh, if ever they drink uh, in a liquor that is according to the standard amount uh, of, of that liquor, what, will be the, what is the implications if uh, they drink it? And my second question, sir, why there are haram foods uh, for Islam? And if they have eaten it without their knowledge, what will happen to them? I mean, what is also the implications? So, sir, that's a good question. Number one, why is alcohol prohibited? Why alcohol is prohibited? It is not and, alcohol. Yes. And in, if they drink according to the standard amount of uh, liquor, uh, what will be the implication of being an Islam? What will no. happen to them? And there is a system. As I mentioned in my talk, Quran prohibits drinking alcohol in Surah Maida chapter 5 or some 90. Even the Bible prohibits the drinking of alcohol in the book of Ephesians, chapter number 5, verse number 18, where it is mentioned, do not be drunk with wine. It's also prohibited in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 20, verse number 1. So Bible prohibits alcohol in two places. You can note down if you want, if you're a devout Christian. If you're a devout Christian, Bible prohibits in two places, book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse number 18, and book of Proverbs, chapter number 20, verse number 1. Now come to your question, why does Islam prohibit alcohol? And if someone has alcohol within the limit, then what is the harm? Basic question. It's, I'm being a medical doctor. I've given a full talk on why is alcohol prohibited. I've given the talk on scientific reasons for the dietary laws in Islam. It will take me as a medical doctor. I can list you hundreds of diseases only from alcohol. Time will not permit me. There are a number of umpteen number of diseases. The main reason is that when you have alcohol, in the human body, there is an inhibitory center. Inhibitory center means, if I want to go to the toilet, my inhibitory center says, don't do it here, go to the restroom. My inhibitory is working. Now, when you have alcohol, the inhibitory center is inhibited. The inhibitory center, then you don't know what you're doing. You start using foul language, you start urinating in your clothes. That is when you get intoxicated. I'm coming to your questions. I'm coming. So, one of the reasons that alcohol is prohibited because you don't know what you're doing. You may abuse your parents, you may use foul languages, you may do incest. You know, most of the incest are done. Incest means having relationship, mother and son, father and daughter. Most of the incest that I say in the state of intoxication. And the list is long if you have a full talk. The number of diseases you can have, cancer of esophagus, cancer of the head, and you can cancer of the liver, the list is very long. Coming to your question. What if I have alcohol in limits? In limits. A prophet says in Ibn Majah, hadith number uh, 3993, 3994, 3992, that if anything intoxicates in large quantity, is prohibited even in small quantity. Anything which intoxicates in large quantity means you have a capacity, okay, fine, normally maybe half peg intoxicates me. So, okay, fine, I can have quarter peg, no problem. But the Prophet said anything which intoxicates in large quantity, large quantity is even prohibited in small quantity. No excuse for nipper or tot. The reason is, today, because of alcoholism, do you know, two and a half million people die every year because of alcoholism? Because of alcoholism, according to who? WHO. Two and a half million people die because of alcoholism alone every year. Now coming to your question. When you ask any alcoholic, no alcoholic starts having alcohol to become alcoholic. He is first a social drinker. Social drinker means drinking within limits. You ask all the alcoholic. No alcoholic will say that I started drinking alcohol to become alcoholic. Maybe you'll find one in a million, maybe. So all of them start with that peg, half peg or quarter peg. It becomes one peg and two peg, depending whether it's whiskey or whether it's beer. Beer you can have more, whiskey you can have less. 
Our beloved prophet said, no excuse for nip or a tot. If it intoxicates in large quantity, it's even prohibited in small quantity, and that is very logical. If this was the case, sister, if I'd agree with you, you wouldn't have two and a half million people dying every year. Every year. In the last 10 years, 25 million people died. And if you interview them, they, never, they always started with half peg. So I'm asking you, if you want to jump from a, from a two-story building or a three-story building, the chances of dying is 50%. Will you jump? Will you jump? So the question is that if you're intoxicated, fine. There may be possibility that if you have alcohol, social drinker, you may not be as bad as health-wise. But imagine if you get drunk once in your life. I don't know a social drinker who has been drinking for five years and has not get intoxicated once in the life. You understand, no? If you get intoxicated once, by mistake you have extra peg. And then you do incest. Can you forgive yourself? Sister, can you forgive yourself? Yes or no? Only once? Incest? Yes or no? So that's the reason Islam says it is prohibited for good. And that's the best. There may be, a, if logically I can agree with you, out of 10,000 people, there may be 3 or 4 people who will not get talk. Who will? 3 or 4 people out of 10,000 people whose health will be very good. All the people's health are bad. Maybe three, four health is good, didn't get intoxicated. Three, four out of 10,000, what is the risk? What is the risk? Can you take a risk? No. So that's the reason our creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's the creator. He knows best what is good for us, right or wrong. So he has put it, he has nipped it at the bud. Nipping at the bud means, don't let it happen. That is the reason in Islam, you know, it says, I didn't complete my second part. No. Fornication, adultery is common in human value. No problem. Sleeping with someone you have not married is no problem. In Islam, it's a big problem. Islam says in Surah Isra chapter 17, verse number 31, come not close to adultery, it's an evil opening other roads to evil. How does it start? Shaking hands. I'm not saying everyone who shakes hands does adultery, but no adultery starts without shaking hands. Right or wrong? Can you mean you can do zina with a girl and a boy without shaking hand? Sister, can you think of it? Can a fornication take place without shaking hands? I'm not saying every girl and boy who shakes hand does fornication. I'm not saying that. But every fornication starts with shaking hand. So what do you do? You stop nip at the bud. In ये मेरे प्यारे प्यारे हाजिर नाजरीन ये थी आज की वीडियो उम्मीद करती हूँ कि आज की वीडियो आपको बेहद पसंद आई होगी और डॉक्टर जाकिर नाइक की बातें भी आपको बेहद अच्छी लगी होंगी तो चलिए अगर आपको अच्छा लगा है तो इसको ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा शेयर कीजिए सब्सक्राइब कीजिए मिलते हैं अगली अच्छी से वीडियो में तब तक के लिए जजाकल्ला खैर ओके अल्लाह हाफिज़